They're all wearing them here at the Hemel Hempstead Ski Centre, but helmets reportedly aren't commonplace among British skiers. Since the advent of freestyling, snowboarding, the wearing of helmets has become de rigueur. Um, it's such a, such a sensible thing to do. It's, it's not really about how good you are. You're really, it's what other people are doing. The number of us travelling to the slopes is increasing for the first time in five years, and skiers are being encouraged to wear helmets to reduce the amount of serious injuries. And this is why. So the testing that we're doing here is investigating the effect of a skier crashing into a tree. So the instrumentation in the dummy will help to give us an indication of the likely injuries that could be sustained by a human on the ski slopes. For the first time in the UK, crash test dummies have been used to simulate collisions with a tree at 10, 20 and 30 kilometres per hour. Scientists did the tests with and without helmets and three key areas of the body were monitored, the head, the neck and the chest. The study revealed that skiers wearing a helmet experience at least two-thirds less force than those not wearing one. At just 20 kilometres per hour, the study found the head encounters nearly two tonnes of force if the skier is not wearing a helmet. If you were to wear a helmet, we're seeing uh, numbers like 36G. And to try and put that into context, really, you're, you're perhaps going to have a headache, you'll almost certainly have a bruise, but no other significant injuries at all. If you weren't wearing a helmet, then the results we're seeing are more like 106G, so that's three times the effect. The evidence supports the ongoing debate about skiers wearing helmets on the slopes, and as more and more of us take up the sport, the benefits of wearing head protection become more obvious than ever.